Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? It's your boy, Salty Puka slash Tobacco. And I'm coming to you with the first ever actual video. I uh, did an introduction video if you want to go watch it just for the fucking hell of it. Don't be shy to go do so. Now, uh, this first video that I'm going to be doing is actually going to be a review on one of my favorite brands of shishas and also a taste or kinds, I guess, flavor of shish um, out there. Now, this specific brand is, you guys all know what it is. If you guys know what hookah, if you guys are kind of familiar with it, uh, you guys will know what the brand is. You won't know what the flavor is because I'm not going to tell you until I show you. Just kidding. You probably already know because of the video uh, title. Uh, yes, it is my best friend, Jisha. She's Asian, she's white, and she's fucking beautiful. <laughs> you know you're fucking forever alone when you can't even fucking get with a girl on a Starbucks can. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'm sure there's people out there with me. Probably not as weird as me. Uh, but that's okay. Okay, so this is the actual sheesh. This is what... God damn it. I just dropped some on the fucking laptop. There you go. Uh, see. Uh, so yeah, that's what it looks like. I kind of tipped it up too much. I'm going to tip the camera down. So you guys don't have to look at my ugly face. And you guys can look at the actual shit um so yeah uh, my clothes are almost done if you guys want to see them i got three of them going they're actually the coconuts they're almost done i think i don't know they say i'm an expert but i really don't know just kidding no they're yeah i would say they're probably three to four minutes being done okay so um but yeah uh, i already got my bowl actually packed because i already made the first video but youtube was gay and it cut out on me so i have to use my application on my computer now see that can get a brownish tint to it that's how much you want to fill your rim to you now yeah yeah see as you guys can see it's over the rim a little bit not too much though um so that's not too, too bad. Um, that's actually ideal with what you guys need. Um, I got my fucking vape. It's badass. It's got fucking silver. Classy. We're going with the classy shit nowadays. Um, fucking classy looking. Got this swivel. I like sit here at work and I'll just fucking play with this all day <laughs> oh i told you guys i had add really 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 bad add actually um but that's all right whatever it's whatevs you gotta do what you gotta do what you gotta do i don't have the tinfoil on my fucking bowl i forgot to put it on there that is very important because you don't want burnt shisha there's nothing worse than love tasting in my opinion and fucking burnt sheesh. Just kidding. It's not too, too bad. Um, honestly. I'm going to show you guys how much foil you'll need. Uh, so just bear with me for a second here. I'm going to unwrap this son of a bitch. This son of a bitch right here. Be careful. About that big a piece of tin foil and a strip. Now they do make them pre-folded that you can buy. I just go with the regular shit here. I'm gonna put it down so you can see. I'm just gonna put it down right here. So it's like that. I'm gonna crease. You gotta crease it. You gotta crease just like in elementary school. Just kidding. Um, and you gotta pull it away like that. See how it kind of does it in a perfectly perfect manner. And then you got your sheet. 
this you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. Uh, it's nice to have an extra sheet laying around. I sometimes, sometimes use that son of a bitch for like a fucking wind cover because I'm a poor man. It's a poor man's wind cover, okay? Just kind of fold it like this, kind of like that, kind of make it a little tint. <laughs> like, <laughs> Shouty, I thought you were a boy scout. I thought you knew how to make a tent. <laughs> no, I don't know how to make a fucking tent. Regardless, kind of like that. See, it's kind of in a tent-like shape. Kind of. Not really. Oh, well. Whatever. It's fine. It works. Poor man's tent. I mean, of course, the regular tent is probably going to work better. Wind cover, whatever it's called. Uh, honestly, who gives a shit, though? We're all fucking poor. We're all fucking broke. So, that's my foil. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to put the foil on the bowl. It's very simple. I'll probably actually make a separate video that's just for this alone. You just take your foil and it goes shiny side down. That's what they say anyways. So I'm going to do shiny side down so I don't get fucking judged by some fucking expert here. I'm just going to crease it along the edge like that. Then crease it in the middle. I'm going to leave something like that. Now, God damn it! I was so unprepared today for my video. I'll be right back. Uh... Enjoy this, uh, enjoy this, uh, the, 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 this bowl. Hey, I'm back. Okay. Sorry. Give me take time out of your guys' day. Okay. I know you guys are all fucking busy. That's why you're fucking on YouTube. Okay. So, like so, I'm going to point the camera down. I don't know why I pointed it back at my ugly face again. We're just going to poke holes in the foil. Like so, around the edge. Now, you guys can go a lot faster than me. I'm just going to show you guys kind of. It doesn't have to look exactly like this. Sometimes I do big holes. Sometimes I do little holes. It all depends on what you're feeling like. Bigger holes, they take a less amount of time to poke. Smaller holes, they tend to make it better. Uh, more of a better experience than the smaller or bigger holes, um, speaking. And we're almost done with the first ring around. There we go. We got the first ring around. I don't know if you guys can see that well enough. Um, I'm just kind of going to fall apart it here. I need to quit smoking so much. Just kidding. Smoke more. Air day, air day. If you guys are wondering what that sound is, it's my laptop. It's very fucking annoying, I know. Uh, believe me, I've gotten kind of used to it, but I'm sure you guys are like, What the hell is that? It's, um, yeah, it's my motherboard or something. In my laptop, it's, it's kind of fucked up because... pissed me off because my laptop was having issues with powering on a while back when I got it. And so I put a warranty claim on it. That son of a bitch was fucking $20 to send in shipping cost. I had to pay. Well, I didn't have to. I decided to pay insurance on it. And it actually, when I did so, uh, when I put the insurance on my laptop, it made the total cost of the twenty dollars, which was really fucking expensive to me. Um, I'm a cheapskate, so yeah. I mean, 
twenty dollars probably would have been worth it to fix my laptop. But honestly, my laptop runs the same. It's just the fan on my laptop is a little bit too loud than what's preferred. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm going to grab my fucking hookah. It's right here. It's right here, ladies and gentlemen. It's right here. I'm going to probably just turn it actually so you guys can see. It's a brewski. There you go. See? It's kind of just really small, actually. Social. Not social smoke. Oh, freak. Sahara smoke is the brand. <laughs> oh, good lord. We are. Oh, my lord on a stick. This is going to be interesting. Okay. We're going to put the bowl on top. This is actually a pretty good view. I like this view. I know it kind of looks like it's offset because, see, this fucking thing is bent. I dropped it. And now I'm a, I'm a klutz. I'm a klutz. I'm a klutz. It's actually the bowl is kind of cracked a little bit too. It doesn't help. Tongs for your fingers. You don't want to fucking hurt your fingers. Don't mind my pants. I'm just a junior. Just kidding, no. I'm just a big boy, okay? I'm just a big boy that can't fit in my regular size jeans like everybody else can, okay? Okay, I know I'm fat. Just call me fat. I don't care. Because I have a lot of self-esteem. I already know I'm fat. So you can't even call me fat. Just kidding, you can, but not really. Alright. So, I don't know why I'm turning my fucking laptop. There you go. Huh? Okay, so this is the G Sha. My nigga. No, don't say nigga, nigga, nigga. Okay. Nigga. Alright. So, can't be racist on this son of a bitch. Because somebody might get offended. Because, we all know I'm a white boy. Look at that white skin. Um. I'm letting the coals roast, that's why you're probably wondering why I'm not taking a hit. Um, that should probably be good. Mmm, a little bit, a little bit, got a little bit. Starting up a little bit. You gotta give it some time. You guys can't bitch about your hookah not working. You're not giving your sheesh a long enough time to cook. Um, so yeah, don't do that. That's not good. Uh, just give it some time to, to cook on there. You might have to move around the coals, experiment a little bit, but everything should be fine. This is kind of <laughs> this is supposed to be a review, kind of giving you guys tips along the way. Um, got a missed call from my roommate, uh, so actually, yeah, this is, uh, this is what I have, um, if you guys want to see some tricks, I'll do a trick for you right now. Airflow is shit. See, I can't even do a trick. I can do a trick, of course, when I pre-record it. Can't do a trick now. You know what? I think there's so much ash on there. I'm gonna try to fucking blow it off. Hell, I got burnt. I got really, really burnt that time, mommy. I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare. It's because I roasted those coals for like really, really long time. <laughs> Yeah, 
There we go. We're getting thunder clouds now, boys and girls, ladies. Of course, you guys probably already backed out of the video. Oh wells, it's okay. I mean, it's just my first video. I'm just fucking around, really. Okay. So, the flavor. First of all, I would say it's like a melony type of flavor. This is actually one of my favorite flavors. This is why I'm doing it first. This is my first video. It's actually one of my top three. Um, if you guys don't like minty, this is would not be a recommended choice uh, that I would recommend. Um, I would first smell it before you buy it. I smell every sheesh before I buy it. Even if I already know what it smells like, I will smell it. And I will check. I will say, um, I will say, hey, can I take a look at it? Smell it. And then they say, okay, yeah. So they hand it over. So it's nice. I mean, some of you guys probably will have to end up buying online uh, with it. Um, but yeah, this is what, this is actually tobacco. Um, when I started smoking, I actually started with herbal, uh, herbal, however you fucking say it, um, herbal shit, um, and it doesn't give you a buzz, um, it's just kind of fun, you know, you get to play with the smoke, and it's a good, it's a good learning trick, I mean, and it's not illegal, by any means, it's it's herbal, so it doesn't have tobacco in it. Therefore, you know it's it's perfectly legal. That's why they they are able to sell it on Amazon. Um, so yeah, that's why they can sell it on Amazon, things like that. But yeah, it's like kind of like a minty, like a minty melon. I would say is what it's like. Uh, the best description. You guys kind of have to smell it to understand what it's about but it's got a really good cooling sensation in your throat if you like if you like this if you like the sheesh uh, the sheeshes that leave that that cooling cooling feeling in your throat uh it's, it's a nice it's a nice sensation slash feeling um so yeah so really it's just heat management that's how you manage it, uh, honestly. Uh, heat management is key to success in getting a lot of smoke. As you guys can see, I mean, this is this is not a tall hookah at all. This is really, really short, actually. Um, and as you can see, it, it's got a purger on it, so you can purge. You don't know what purging is. It's kind of uh, it gets kind of the hotter, hotter vapor out of the out of the base, is how it works. Um, so yeah, this is a vortex bowl. Um, I actually use my Egyptian, my regular basic bowl more. I mean, just about the same, if not more, than than my vortex. So honestly, it doesn't matter. I'm getting a funnel bowl from. Uh, my homie at my smoke shop. His name is Kevin. Uh, go check him out um, here in Cedar City, Utah. Uh, they're really cool. Really cool people. They'll they'll hook you up. Uh, you know, just they'll they'll talk with you. I, I mean, I go in there half the time just to just to just to visit. Um, so go check him out. Shout out to him. He's freaking awesome. Um, all the guys there are awesome. Uh, Jeremiah and his wife. I don't know her name, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, check check them all out. Uh, they're pretty awesome. If you guys stop by, I know you guys come through Vegas or come through in the west southwestern kind of area. So if you pass through Cedar City, um, how you get there, it's really really easy. I'll put an address to the smoke shop in the description. And, uh, and yeah, I'm actually probably going to be posting a lot of their um, smoke shop pictures in, on Instagram. It's, it's a really small smoke shop, but it's got a lot um, in, inside the smoke shop. 
Uh, so, yeah, but I recommend checking them out. Um, he's the one that hooked me up with, with this. This is actually one of the newer Starbuzz flavors um, that came out, and it's really, really good. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've really liked that flavor, and it's, re it's a really good flavor. Yeah, so it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of whatever you guys prefer. If you guys don't like a mint, um, the first flavor that I would recommend, Firecracker, is really, really good. It, that one's made by Fantasia. I'll do a review on that one. That's got like a redder, more red tint to it. Adios, motherfucker. It's got the motherfucker part is like bleeped out, kind of got the symbols. It's because they... Probably don't want to offend anybody, I'm guessing. Uh, but yeah, check that flavor out. That's Those are two really good flavors that I like. If you guys don't like mint, that is what I, that is my next recommendation. You can't leave out Haze. Haze is, Haze is definitely a good brand. Um, but yeah, thanks you know, you know, for, for checking this video out. Now, now the, the rating I'm going to give the G-Shed is actually a 9 out of 10. Uh, smokes really well the reason why i'm giving it a nine instead of a ten is uh just because it's so fine i mean that look at that little piece it's really really fine but i like it finer to be honest um so i'm yeah i'm giving it a nine out of ten it's one of my top definitely one of my top fives uh that you guys have to check out definitely check out uh uh, Pirates Cove Starbuzz, that's a good one too. Um, but yeah, I'll be coming out with more of those kinds of video, more of these kinds of videos. This is just kind of a first video for you guys to kind of enjoy and see what I'm kind of about here. Um, the first part of the video was kind of whack, I'm gonna admit, but uh, th that's kind of what I'm gonna be bringing to you guys—a little bit of comedy, a little bit of everything. Um, so I hope you guys, you know, subscribe to my channel. Definitely don't be, you know, afraid to do that. Don't be scared of me. I'm not that scary. Um, but yeah, def uh, I want to thank you guys for checking me out. You know, thank D&D. D&D Smokes, that's what the smoke shop is called. Uh, they have everything in there. Uh, from hookah sticks uh, to e-juice. Uh, they have e-cigarettes in there. So if you guys are stopping through... You guys want an e-cig go check them out they do id so um don't think that if you're 18 you're gonna waltz in there and be able to pick something up so they id everybody um that walks into their store um but yeah just a big shout out to them they're awesome i want to thank them they've been really awesome with me uh you know they give me free stuff all the time just to try it out and they have the testers in there uh, if you guys are big vapors, their, their blends are 60, 60, 40 actually. Uh, so, so they're actually, they are available to put on your drip mods if you guys come through, if you guys want to try that out. But, but yeah, um, yeah, definitely check, check that out. I didn't mean to make this video this long. Um, that wasn't my intention, but, uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for checking it out again. And you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh. And then good rest of your night as well if you guys are watching at night. Uh, thanks for checking me out. Uh, subscribe for some more um, awesome tips and trick videos. It's my first review video um, on this. But uh, yeah, 9 out of 10 is what it gets. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for checking me out. Thanks. Bye.